Creating, sharing and using data shapes our lives. Millions of pieces of it are created every second of the day. What's so extraordinary is how quickly we've become totally dependent on computers. In 2008, we passed the point where there are more computers, tablets and phones connected to the internet than there are people on the planet. In 2020, there will be 50 billion devices connected to the internet. Everything we do relies on the internet. Banking, shopping, medical, tax and police records, transport networks, education and the media. Rewind 150 years and most of us generated a tiny amount of data in our lives. For some people, it was simply when they were born and their parents' names. When they married and the date of their wedding and the day they died. Every big leap in technology starts when one person thinks differently, imagines something and finds a way to make it work. Meet Cyrus W. Field, an American businessman whose company laid the first telegraph cable on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean in 1858. It was the start of a worldwide network that allowed people to communicate over vast distances in a matter of minutes. It was revolutionary. It took 50 years for Italian electronic engineer Giuliano Marconi to show that you didn't need cables to send messages. Sitting in Newfoundland, Marconi tuned in a radio to hear three short beeps, the letter S in Morse code, sent over 2,000 miles by his team in Cornwall. Fast forward and 21-year-old programmer Charlie Klein is spending another long night in the lab at the University of California. His computer is the size of a small flat. Charlie types a message to his friend Bill Duval over at Stanford. First L, then O, then nothing. An hour later, Charlie manages to send Bill the full message. L-O-G-I-N. It was the first message ever sent over a computer network. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee had an idea for sharing information. He called it the World Wide Web. And so computers moved from the world of research labs to our workplaces, then to our homes and everyday objects. We are now all inextricably linked into a vast web of interconnected data that gives us access to knowledge and information on a scale which is unprecedented in history. The web is a tool for humanity. It is a tool limited only by our imagination. But tools can be used for good or bad. It is our world. It is our web. Our choice.